Hi guys, the objective of this video is to just classify a whole load of different sedimentary rock samples. I will be using all the terms we have covered in previous videos and I will be referring to the flowchart that featured in the video just prior to this one. So if you haven't watched that summary video just prior to this one, I maybe suggest you go and watch that before proceeding into this video. Alright, so here's our first sample. We can see that this sample has layers. And these layers come from the fact that the sediment has been laid down in horizontal beds. We can also see that the sample is made up of quite small particles, although they're still visible to the naked eye. I would say that these are sand sized particles. Therefore, we have a sandstone. Even though it's rather hard sometimes to tell what type of sandstone you're looking at, I would say that this sandstone is a quartz sandstone. It has quite a consistent colour. And if we look at it closely, the particles look as if they are sand from the beach. Beach sand is quartz sand. So we can say that this is a quartz sandstone. Here are a few samples of quartz sandstone. This is just to give you an idea of how the same rock can look fairly different in different samples. Here we have a sample with quite small grains. We would say that this sample is a sandstone. We can also see that the grains do look like beach sand, therefore we would say that the grains are quartz grains. Therefore, I would say that this sample is a quartz sandstone. Also, even though more than 50% of this sample is clearly sand grains, we can also see that the sample contains pebbles. Therefore, I would finally call this sample a pebbly quartz sandstone. Here we have another sample. I would say that this sample has quite small particles that we can easily see with the naked eye. We can also see that each grain is butted up against another grain and there is not much matrix visible. Therefore, I would call this rock framework supported. Because of the sand sized particles and the fact that it is framework supported, I would call this rock an arnite sandstone. I would also call this rock a lithic sandstone because it is made up of lots of different types of rock. Here we have another sample. The grains that make up this sample are large gravel clasts. Therefore, I would call this rock a conglomerate. We can see that the gravel clasts are all touching each other and therefore it is framework supported. Therefore, we would call this sample an orthoconglomerate. The grains are also rounded gravel clasts, which confirm the fact that we would call this rock a conglomerate and not a breccia. Here we have another sample, which has large clasts and is therefore clearly a conglomerate. However, it seems that the clasts are all swimming in a sea of matrix, and therefore we would call it matrix supported. Therefore, this conglomerate is a paraconglomerate. Here we have another conglomerate. However, these clasts are quite angular in shape, unlike the conglomerate we just looked at, which had quite round clasts. Therefore, we would call this sample a breccia. Furthermore, this sample seems to be matrix supported, as there is quite a lot of matrix between all of the clasts. Therefore, we would call this sample a matrix supported breccia. And finally, here's our last sample for this video. This sample is made up of very small sediment, which we can't really see with our naked eye. Therefore, we would call it a mudstone or a shale. Here's the last sample we'll look at in this video. We can see that this sample has small grains and no real distinguishing features. We might think it's a mudstone. It's rather light in colour, which maybe makes us question whether it is a mudstone. And sometimes this light colour is an indicator that maybe it's a limestone. So we test, does it react with acid? Yes, it does. So we can say that it is a limestone. So now that I've classified a whole bunch of different sedimentary rocks, I hope you understand how to classify these rocks. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, guys.